Hi, your ones. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to your RE lesson for the day. So this term we've been talking all about special objects, just like how last term we talked about special books. And let's get started on our lesson. So we're going to consider our own special objects today and religious objects. And we'll know we're successful if we can talk about an object that's special to you. You can say why it's special to you. And we're going to explore and sort some special objects from different religions today. So let's get started with our just checking. So we say Noah's Ark is a story found in which religion? And remember after each question, you can pause the video and have a go at answering them yourself. So last week we learned Noah's Ark. It is a story found in which religion? And if you guessed Christianity and it's found in the Bible, well done, good memory. All right, from our last topic, which was all about special books, the Torah is the special book of and this one's one where you get to choose. Is it Judaism or Christianity? Pause the video and have a go at answering. Right, if you guessed Judaism, remember we made Torahs of our own, those little scrolls. Um, well done. And finally, which symbol is linked to Judaism? So last week we looked at how the cross is linked to Christianity. Would it be the star of David or the moon and the star for Judaism? Pause the video and have a guess. And if you guess the Star of David, well done. That is the symbol linked with Judaism. Right, moving along. Okay, this is our big question of the day. So pause the video, have a think. You can write something down on a piece of paper. You can share it with a talk partner if you have a friend there working with you or a sibling, or you can share it with your um, learning buddy. Like we talked about last week, you can get one of your toys or stuffed animals that you can have as your talk partner when you're doing your home learning. So what is your favorite outdoor game or toy? And why is it special to you? What is your favorite outdoor toy or game? And why is it special? And I can't wait to hear some of your ideas when you send in your work from today. Looking at the keywords that we're going to be using in our lesson today, we have Judaism, which we've talked about as a religion, religion, Torah, dreidel, Hanukkah, Maccabees and menorah. All right, let's explore. What is this object? Do you know what it is? And have you seen one before? You might remember it from before the holidays. We did a little mini lesson all about Hanukkah and you might have seen this before. So pause the video and have a think. Do you know what this is? Have you seen it before? What is it used for? And who do you think would use it? So have a little go. All right, hopefully you have some guesses. So I noticed when I was looking at it, it looks a bit like a top, like a game that you might spin. It looks like something you might spin. I know we talked about that in class before. And it looks like it has some pictures or symbols around it, painted around it, but they're not letters of the alphabet that we have in English. So that's quite curious. Hmm, maybe it's a game. Let's find out. It's called a dreidel. Why do you think it is special? Think about the religions that we've been learning about and when it might be used. Have a little go at answering the question. All right, a dreidel is played during the religious holiday of Hanukkah. And Hanukkah is celebrated by Jewish people. So before Christmas, broke, we broke up for Christmas, we did a little lesson and we made some Hanukkah cards, um, a little mini lesson about Christmas around the world. And we talked about Hanukkah and I said my family um, has celebrated Hanukkah before, so it's a really fun holiday. All right, the festival of Hanukkah is celebrated every year and it is eight days long. One of the most important parts of the festival is the menorah or the candlestick, which you can see down here. Every night during Hanukkah, one more candle is lit until all eight have been lit. So this lovely candle in the middle is called the shamash and it's the candle that you use to light the other. So on the first day, you'll have two candles lit. On the second day, you'll have three because we always have that candle in the middle lighting it. Jews remember the miracle of oil and the bravery of the Maccabees by lighting the menorah. And there's a lovely link that I've posted in the comment section of this video and I'll try and add the video to the playlist if I can. Um, I think I'll be able to and it's a lovely little episode, a cartoon all about the story of Hanukkah 
and why it's celebrated. So please go and watch the video and have a little look at the story of Hanukkah and the story of the Maccabees. At Hanukkah, just like at other celebrations that you might have with your family, there's lots of different things that people do. And we know that food is a way that helps us to bring each other together and to have some special, make a celebration a little more special. So these fried potato latkes are eaten and they're really, really yummy. They're like potato pancakes and you can eat them with either jam or sour cream. So you can have them sweet, you can have them savory and everything at Hanukkah is fried in oil because the celebration of Hanukkah, which you'll see when you watch the other video, is all about how the oil in the lamp in the temple stayed lit, even though, or in the synagogue stayed lit, even though there wasn't really enough oil to last. So it's a big miracle. So all the foods you eat at Hanukkah would be fried in oil to kind of recognize that. But it also means it gives you a little bit of a tummy ache, so you can't eat too much. Um, during Hanukkah, Jewish families enjoy eating fried food. Foods fried in oil remind them of the oil that lasted for eight whole days. And these are some lovely jelly dough donuts called sufyot. And you might have had them before, um, maybe not for Hanukkah, but they're, they're filled with jelly and they're really yummy as well. So lots of good foods at Hanukkah. Families give each other gifts, play games, and enjoy spending time together. The most popular and traditional game is the dreidel game. A dreidel is a spinning top. So well done if you guessed that. Each player has some tokens, and these can be sweets, raisins, or counters. And we talked about at school how we often use chocolate coins as our tokens. Um, and a dreidel. You spin the dreidel and you have to give away, take tokens, or share tokens, depending on where the dreidel falls. And we spoke about a few slides back about how we had some interesting writing on the side, and we said it wasn't the alphabet that we know, it wasn't the English alphabet. And on each side, each of the four sides of the dreidel is a Hebrew letter, which represent the saying, a great miracle has happened here. In each of those letters, um, there's also a little instruction in Hebrew, and it tells you if you have to put all of your coins in, or if you get to take some of your coins, um, or if you have to share the pot. So it's a good game of chance where you get to win, hopefully, some sweet treats. All right. So, can you tell your talk partner, so if you have a sibling or an adult with you, you can pause the video and talk to them. If you're on your own, remember you can always use a talk partner, one of your toys, to be a really good listener. And can you tell your partner what special holidays you celebrate? So it might be a religious holiday. It might just be a holiday with your family. Maybe you have something special you do every time someone has a birthday. Maybe you have a special dinner once a week just to get together as a family. Maybe you have pizza night on a Friday or a takeaway night. So whatever you do to celebrate a special holiday, it doesn't have to be a religious holiday. It can be a family holiday. Um, have a little chat and have a little think. Lovely. and Welcome back. So I have two questions to kind of finish off before we do our next activity. So Question number one is what outdoor activities are important to you? So I would like you to have a chat with your talk partner your, or just me on the screen and tell me what is the special activity that you just talked about that's important to you. And question number two is what special objects are used during Hanukkah? So we had a look in the video at a few different things that people did or objects that they might have, including food. So if you need to go back in the video and find an example, um, but if you can share on the screen or with a partner, what's something special that's used at Hanukkah. And if you can remember the name of that spinning top, the dreidel, that would be really good as well. All right, and looking for your at home challenge. And this is what I'd love to see a picture of when you send your work in. On one side of a piece of paper, can you draw or write about an object or a game that is special to you? And the picture I've included is Pass the Parcel because Pass the Parcel was a game that we played at birthday parties when I was a little girl. So it's a special game that always makes me think of a holiday, which is a birthday. So if you can draw a picture of the object or the game that is special to you and write a sentence below about why it is special. So for me, it is special because we played it at parties and I have really good memories of playing that game. 
On the other side of your paper, you're going to draw a picture of a dreidel because we learned about a special object today, the dreidel. So I'm also going to post a video and I'll try and put it in the playlists as well of the Art Hub instructions to help you draw a dreidel. Um, and if you follow the instructions, I know you'll do a really good job on it because you've done so many great Art Hub videos before. And below your picture of the dreidel, can you write me a sentence to tell me why a dreidel is special? So why is a dreidel a special object and why is it used in Hanukkah? And I can't wait to see your pictures of your work. Please send them in to the year one email address. And we love to see your work and we love to give you feedback on it. So I hope you enjoyed our mini lesson about Hanukkah and I hope you enjoyed the follow-up videos that we're posting as well. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.